Hi friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about view management from Python. For do that, we are overriding the fields underscore view underscore get method. We can go to the PyCharm. I just created a test module for this. And inside this, I just created a test model and a view for this. You can go to the model file. Inside this model file, we can uh, override this field underscore view underscore get method. Just define our function fields underscore view underscore get. And we can pass some parameters like um, view ID, view underscore ID equal to uh, this time I will set as none, none comma view type. Home and toolbar none and the sub menu. Inside this function, we can uh, just Called a super rest equal to super o so fields underscore view underscore get and we can pass the parameters view id equal to view id and the view type equal to view type toolbar is equal to none submenu is equal to submenu sorry toolbar equal to toolbar submenu is equal to submenu but the id of the view and the uh, view type is the form view, tree view, and uh, other views. We can use that. And we can just work this code. And we are putting some print here and checking that uh, output of this. So view underscore ID here. View underscore ID. View underscore. Type equal to type, and we are printing the press. And we can uh, return this press. Can what this? We can just upgrade this. Just opening the form view and we can uh, check the PyCharm log. You can see that the printed result. First thing, the view type is search and the view ID is false and the result method is in a dictionary format. The second thing, the view ID is false and the, the view type is tree and the result is in a dictionary. And we here we can see that the that the arch here. This is the XML code we are writing from the XML. And the third time the view ID is false and the uh, view type is form. The here we can see the view ID base model the field 
can see here and the arc the arc is an architecture which customize the way the model is displayed inside the view so next we can check how to add a new label inside the form view after the after this name for that i am checking the view type view type equal to form and look equal to for this we have to import a uh, library called uh, LXML. For that, we are importing that from LXML import E3. E3. And we are saving the R from the dictionary. Just type e3 dot xml of oh, we can pass the rest and rest and the key is arc arc and we can specify the x path to add this uh, item to do that i am just adding a name underscore field equal to doc dot xpath xpath of you can provide the name of the field field of at a name equal to name This way, we are uh, selecting the parent uh, field to add this. And we are checking the field is exist or not, name underscore field. If the field is exist, we are adding that name field of zero dot add next. Add next to e tray dot element. I am just adding a label for the name element for that element, providing that label comma. Sorry, string. from python from python then we have to add this to the arc so rest of arc equal to e tray dot to string we can pass this doc comma can provide the encoding is equal to unicode this line means that we are adding the item to the dictionary so we can now restart the server and we can check its work we can see the label is here from python this way we can add a label we can look at the code once more i checked that the view type is form then it's a view type I just selected the key, key of 
this is a dictionary so i am selecting that the key arc item to the doc it's an xml file we are passing that and the parent we are finding the position to add that label we are adding and we are checking that uh, the field is exist or not and adding here and at last we are adding to the rest rest dictionary next we can check the existing field string we can change the string of this field for that creating a new variable change equal to sorry dot x path of double slash field of sorry fields of at name equal to name and we are checking that change of zero dot set here we are using the set method to set the uh, string of the field providing the string comma the i am changed to name change like this and next we have to update this to the rest rest of arch arch equal to e trade dot to string doc comma encoding coding is equal to unique code say so very simple and we can just restart the server and check in you can see the name changed it here this way we can edit the form view from the python core next we can check how to edit this tree view from the uh, python for that i'm just removing this code and he, here we added a condition if type is equal to form and we can uh, just add a new condition if view type equal to three then we have to change this uh, name to the name change for that we have to add the doc equal to e dot xml of the rest of arc and we have to set a new variable change underscore name equal to dot dot x path x path of we have to provide the location field of at name equal to name and now we can check that change name change in sorry change name of zero it dot state 
the string string is equal to name change name change and next step is to add that into the rest of arch e3 dot to string dog comma encoding comma unicode and we can uh, rerun this server and we can check we can see that the field string is changed this way we can uh, edit the view from the python code this way we can uh, edit the view from the python so i think you got the idea about that Thank you for watching.